approach the cloud. See what that means. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for coming to the class today. And I'm really excited to talk about chakras and essential oils and also talk about some um, crystals and things too. Then I, I was really excited um, when I, I just decided that, okay, February, March, I'm going to teach this class because it was something I wanted to learn about. And so it challenged me to really, um, to start to dive into that. And it, it's come at a really good time for me personally as um, getting into the school year and just been really, really busy. And then taking that time to stop and, and go, okay, am I balanced? Am I balanced in these different areas in my life? So I'm really excited to be in this space with you today because um, this is as much for me as it is for anybody watching this or will watch this. So, um, seeing if it's gonna go forward, there we go. So today we're gonna talk a, a little bit about essential oils and why doTERRA and then move into the different, what, it, what are chakras and um, which essential oils can help to bring um, chakras into balance because it can be excited or closed off and we want them to be balanced so we can have that optimal um, experience. All right, so if you're not familiar with doTERRA, um, these essential oils, I use doTERRA's essential oils exclusively with my background in like biology and chemistry and things like that. In looking at different companies and things, I, for the, for years and years now, I've been impressed with doTERRA's standards, not only regarding testing, but therapeutic quality as well, and really grounded in data and research and expanding what it is to have a high quality essential oil, not only through testing, but also through therapeutic quality. And um, they fund so much research, peer reviewed research, you know, honest to goodness scientists, all of that stuff, um, so that our understanding of essential oils is, is really exploding right now. There's so much that we've classically known about essential oils and that they can help us. But up until now, we really didn't know how they specifically affected the body through what pathways, you know, and what enzymes do they affect and things. And we're beginning to learn those things. We're really getting evidence for that. It's very exciting time because more and more people are going to be able to come on board that, that need those sort of reassurances and, and evidence. So really exciting. doTERRA standard is CPTG, so Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade Essential Oils. Um, it's their standard that they created, so because there are no standards in the industry, really very little standards, shall I say. And so um, kind of like that Ford commercial, um, we are the bar. We, we haven't just, you know, reached the bar. We, we are the bar that's set for the industry. Um, and that's continuing to rise. So from my time in doTERRA, from the very beginning, um, I've seen it grow and seen their standards get more strict. And so I'm really encouraged by that. It gives me a lot of confidence moving and using these essential oils in a lot of different ways. Um, one of the things that has really impacted me is, um, oh, by the way, the Source to You website, amazing. If you want to learn more about their standards, about their sourcing, about their, um, their testing and things like that, source to youcom is incredible. Um, I find new stuff on it all the time because they are adding new stuff to it all the time. It's also where you can actually um, put in the lot number on your bottle of essential oil from doTERRA and actually see the um, data 
from the testing and such, like their mass, their mass spec and CP, or um, yeah, their, their different spectral data that they have on there. Um, the other thing that you'll see on there is our co-impact sourcing. Now with co-impact sourcing, that is really the heart of doTERRA. It's this melding with their, um, their sourcing practices that uplifts the area that they're in. So it's sustainable sourcing and it creates, they create like co-ops because two thirds of the countries that they source their oils from are developing countries. And so if these communities are not lifted up, it's not going to be sustainable. So if they need a school, if they need a hospital, if they need water, doTERRA works hand in hand with their, um, their outreach, part, their outreach, um, it's called the Healing Hands Foundation, this foundation that they started to impact these communities, come in and drill a well, build a hospital, build a school, things like that. And um, really they're impacting hundreds of thousands of lives all over the world. And, and I get to be a small part of that as I buy my bottle of oil every month. And it's, it's really cool when, if you hear the story about of Haiti and, and their vetiver, when I see my vetiver, I don't just see a bottle of oil. I remember those Haitian faces when the water spigot got turned on for the first time. It's really, I feel honored. So just real quick here, three different ways to use essential oils. You have aromatically, so breathing it in, in a diffuser or whatnot, which is pretty classic. Um, air, and aromatically, you might think, oh, well, it makes it smell good. But your sense of smell is powerful. It affects that internal part of the brain that controls your heart rate, your blood pressure, your memories, your emotions. Okay, so breathing these in is not just, oh yeah, it smells good, that's nice, but you're having an impact on your brain directly. And so you can have this direct effect on your emotional state rather than having an indirect effect through touch or sight and things like that. All your other senses indirectly affect your emotions. The sense of smell is direct so it's powerful so don't discount aromatic use even if you're taking you know using essential oils in other ways um, really connect with that the power of that the other way is topically so we can apply these essential oils on the skin some of them do need to be diluted and some of them um, in other times when you want to have like a kind of like a time release type of thing you may want to dilute them it they're so potent, they're so very strong that diluting them, it's, you're gonna still have that therapeutic quality, but some of those smaller light constituents or like molecule things, you, they're gonna slough off your skin really quickly. So if you have a carrier oil or something on, it will hold those on so that they can actually absorb into your body rather than just diffusing off your skin. So, um, Dilution and using topically and diluting with a carrier oil like fractionated coconut oil, um, almond oil, jojoba oil, things like that um, are, are very powerful. Um, basically anything you have. Fractionated coconut oil is a, it's medium strain, so it doesn't hold it too tight and it doesn't hold it too loosely. So it's really ideal. Um, internally, if you want like a full systemic effect internally is the way to go. Um, obviously not a lot of it is going to diffuse off into the air. So you get maximum absorption. And if you put it like right under the tongue, it goes really quickly to the bloodstream. Some of them are not tasty, but it's okay. You get used to it. Um, or it's just, you know, Hey, it's worth it to have those health benefits that you're looking for. So if I'm wanting to boost my immune system, I like to do a drop of, or a drop or two of On Guard underneath the tongue. Uh, you see oregano here on the screen, and you can use these in cooking. 
we've got oregano, we've got rosemary, we've got basil, like all these different essential oils that are just fabulous, fabulous for cooking. And they're, again, so, so very potent that you don't even need a drop a lot of the times for recipes. Um, I must admit peppermint brownies are probably my favorite because the peppermint is so delicious and like six drops in a batter of for a 13 by nine is just amazing. And let's see, internally, um, oregano, for instance, that's here, this one's a hot oil. So it's spicy, crazy spicy. So you would never want to put that just like a drop of oregano under your tongue because um, it will light you up. And <laughs> you'll, yeah, you want to dilute it. You want to have it in something else. If you're going to apply it topically to the skin, you're going to want to dilute it. And there's lots of great references out there, um, easy references to go, what do I need to dilute? What do I not need to dilute? Um, there are supplement labels on the essential oils. Every one of doTERRA's bottles that are for every oil that's okay to take internally, there's a supplement label on there. So you never have to worry and question, am I able to use this um, internally? If the, if the label's there, then it can't, then you can, because we do follow FDA standards regarding labeling. All right, so chakras, what are they? They are energy centers in the body. We are an electrical field. Your nerves and things, they send electrical sim signals throughout your entire body. That's how we communicate with all the different cells and things of our bodies, how we communicate with the world around us. And we get stimuli through sight, through touch, through taste, through smell, through, you know, all this hearing, okay? We take in all this stimuli and we process it. And our body itself is sending itself all these different stimuli to tell the brain, to tell us as a person what is going on and how we can balance and live within this whole cacophony of cells that we are made of. Each individual cell, remember, is its own living thing. So in order to be able to communicate, you have to have some, some like crossroads in a sense. And this is, as you probably know, this is not new information to the world. Um, the concept of chakras has been around for such a long time and um, and it's it's really been expanding as people are looking for um, a way to find connection within themselves again. We're pulled in so many different directions and if we can find that center, if we can find that place of peace, um, we're able to be a part of our world in a, in a more authentic and powerful way. So specifically chakras, they, they are different energy centers, seven of them, seven main ones throughout the body and um, kind of like nerve plexuses are they're often called. And um, as you, as you intentionally focus on those different areas, because it's nerves and our, our nerves follow our focus and things, you can, um, you can stimulate them and you can impact these different energy places. It's kind of like lifting weights, like you lift weights to build your, um, you know, your skeletal muscular system. You run to work out your cardiovascular system. Well, what about your nervous system? How do you exercise your nervous system? Well, by helping your chakras by focusing on your chakras and helping to balance those that is your your nervous system workout in a sense and when you work out your nervous system since it's connected to everything else you impact everything else as well and you can think about it like when you get scared and you have that tightness in your chest okay and when you're in front of a bunch of people and you might feel you know you have to swallow it and your, your throat's kind of tight and you're afraid to speak. 
that's your fifth chakra, your throat chakra, your chest is in your heart chakra. Um, if you're nervous and you feel that in your stomach, okay, that's your third chakra, all right? So we're gonna talk about all these different energy levels and which essential oils are great for them. Got like so much juicy information, it's hard to like cut some different things out. Okay, so one other thing about chakras, I did mention brief briefly, they can be out of balance in two different ways. So we're going to start with our root chakra. And it, with the root chakra, this is like your grounding chakra. It's located at the base of the spine. Um, it's grounding to the physical world, it's that basal like survival aspect and self-preservation. -pres um, it's associated with like the legs, the feet, um, the parts of the di digestive tract would be kind of like the colon, your adrenal glands, that fight or flight type of thing. Um, cell, cellular function, it has cell production, digestive system. Um, it's often associated with the, with the color red, okay? So visualizing red with it is often associated with that root chakra. Now on this chart that I have here, if, if the root chakra is overexcited, you're gonna see the different things that are um, here on the left, the excessive characteristics, okay? Um, excessive spending, resistance to change, slow movement, heaviness, overeating, hoarding, materialistic, workaholic. Or if you're deficient, maybe your root chakra is closed off, you're disconnected, underweight, restlessness, um, spaciousness, fixation, um, flightless fear, anxiety, okay? So if you're experiencing one or the other, you're like, okay, yeah, this is where I live. You may be out of balance in your root chakra. That could be a kind of symptom, quote unquote, of an imbalance in your root chakra. And so if we wanna move away from those different things and be in that center of of being grounded to what's important um, and being able to, to have peace and find that balance and find, find your real priorities. The root chakra is where it's at. Some of the different oils for that uh, is as you probably would have guessed if you're um, not new to essential oils, the um, Balance Blend is an amazing blend. Um, it is called the Grounding Blend, so it makes sense that it goes with your root chakra. Um, basil for core support, frankincense for self-connection, vetiver, patchouli, myrrh. I'm noticing a lot on here with Okay, you've got frankincense, vetiver, myrrh. Um, Balance also has frankincense in there. Uh, these are really, they're like trees, like root-based essential oils, a lot of these. And so it can help us make sure that our, we, we're able to reach goals and stay grounded towards our true priorities. And like I said, you can use these in a lot of, different ways that aromatically um, you can I I love to do just like a couple of drops in my hand and and breathe it in um, one of the ways that I really like to use this I got and I want to show you this here and Okay, so if you can see my little picture, I have these nine roller bottles and they've got different like um, crystals in them. 
and then also the roller ball itself is hold on sorry is a crystal so like for the root chakra i picked the tiger's eye crystal and um it has the tiger's eye roller ball in there as well and then the essential oil is a blend that has like frankincense and different stuff in there um i there were some blends that were recommended that have these different oils in it and so it didn't really take even very much oil and then fill it up with fractionated coconut oil and there you go like it's so fantastic and these i think i got the roller balls on amazon for like 20 bucks or something like that and they're they're so pretty with the silver top and all of that and so many oils i hadn't really used a whole lot um that were unique for this blend and now i'm really able to see, feel how they really do connect with that part of my body these different these different chakras and so just putting them on in the morning or at night just a little bit rolled over the different areas so like root chakra um just like on my tailbone basically okay sacral chakra so that one is um lower abdomen so it's centered between the pelvis and the navel center. Okay, so kind of right between your pelvic bones. And um, this is like life and vitality, self gratification, um, passion. Um, let's see, your your set, your reproductive organs. Um, the out of balance can be like sexual addiction or loss of um, sexuality. And you have the other associated um, anatomy uh, is like the sacral vertebrae. So those are the fused vertebra and the back of your pelvis, okay? So in the back of your pelvis, you've got vertebrae that have fused together to form your sacrum. And um, so it supports that part. Um, circulation, urinary function, reproductive system, the physical element associated with it is water. And some of the different meditations that I've done with the sacral chakra, um, you're, you've already grounded yourself in your root chakra, so you're still. And then um, as you picture the water, like if you're like a tree in a river and the river is flowing around and you recognize that the river is flowing and all these different things are happening but it doesn't affect your it doesn't affect your stance it doesn't affect your um your firmness within that river and you can notice and appreciate everything that's happening everything that's going on but it doesn't affect you unless you choose to engage with it and so having that balance and not, a, not having such attachment to, to different things and kind of, if you find obsessing over different things that may be out of your control, that's a, like a sacral chakra. So excessive characteristics, emotional dependency, obsessive attachments, sexual addictions, spaciness, um, Flightiness, oversensitive, poor boundaries, mood swings, or if they're deficient, excessive boundaries, emotional numbness, rigid behavior, um, fear of sexuality, fear of change, lack of passion, poor social skills, and boredom. Okay, and this is these are classic things here. And so if you're if you're experiencing these, you could be out of balance. So a balanced sacral chakra you're living in gratitude. You're really able to embrace change. Um, you have an emotional intelligence about things and, um, and able, to, able to enjoy and, and not obsess. All right, supporting oils with that. Bergamot is fantastic cinnamon juniper berry uh, melaleuca patchouli and wild orange there's that patchouli coming up again just gonna smell this
So um, this one, I have the red jasper in there for the sacral chakra. And with these essential oils, juniper berry is one of them that's in this blend here. And if you want these blends um, that I have, just, just send me an email or something and, um, and I can get them to you. Oh, it's, it's really great. I love the juniper berry in that one. I didn't, I hadn't really used juniper berry much and it really, yeah, it really has grown on me. So one of the blends that are there, four drops of juniper berry, two, or two, four to six drops of juniper berry, and this is in a 10 milliliter roller bottle, two to five drops of melaleuca, one to two drops of Lang Lang, and top it off with fractionated coconut oil. Um, for, um, another one, four drops of bergamot, two drops of patchouli, three drops of Lang Lang, and top it off with fraction, oh, fractionated coconut oil. Diffuser recipes, three drops of wild orange, one drop of Lang Lang, one drop of bergamot. Another diffuser one, three drops of juniper berry, and four drops of bergamot. All right, and so you can see which ones, you can try out different things and see what really resonates with you, and um, yeah, go with that. Hello. All right, do you have any questions at this point? No, I don't. All righty. Okay. The solar plexus chakra. Now, um, this one here, um, I really love. I'm gonna move some stuff here. Um, and if you ever have, if you have a question, if you can, there's like a comment thing that you can type in, or. Um, you can, I believe you can unmute yourself. Just wave at me if <laughs> you need to say something, you can unmute yourself. But, um, but yeah, so um, with the solar plexus chakra, um, the element for this is fire. And I think of it as a fiery self-control. All right. And because I tend to be a very um, passionate person and, um, I, and it's tricky this chakra for me can get um, out of balance at different times um, because it just it gets out of alignment and but I love it because it's that creative aspect too that I, I, I love being excited I love being in the state of pondering um, and and ha having just a great sense of self and enjoying being in your own skin. Um, a balanced solar plex chakra is warm, energetic, confident, um, a, has positive self-control, good self-discipline, responsible and reliable, all right? And so if you're wanting to experience more of that, focus on that place. It's um, right above the navel center. So between like, That, that place where sometimes you'll get um, I, I get kind of like a tightness sort of in my stomach if, um, if I'm feeling insecure about some sort of situation. If I'm like lacking confidence and I'm kind of um, feel like maybe I'm not liked or something, <laughs> then get that tightness. Um, it's, it's right there. Um, it's also that place where you get really excited to be a part of something. So um, it affects the pancreas, the liver, the spleen, the stomach, and the lower back muscles as well. Interesting and a lot, uh, interestingly enough, um, it's very powerful for motivation, that get up and go, um, vitality, the sex, sense of personal power. That's what this chakra is. And but if it's out of balance in one of these other areas, if it's excessively open, being dominating, controlling, arrogant, competitive, hyperactive, egotistical, stubborn, workaholic, 
that one's coming up again. Um, or if it's closed off, fear of being alone, a victim mentality, lacking confidence, poor digestion, feeling disliked, passive, lack of energy, or jealous. Okay, so we want to be out of those two extremes and centered in confidence and positive self worth and um, and energy and all of that. Okay, some to help with that are the citrus bliss, um, coriander, oregano, cedarwood, ginger, and lime. Okay. The, the citrus in this is a really powerful one. Um, I chose the um, just like quartz crystal for this one. So it's a quartz crystal on top. And um, yeah, quartz in there. And then a blend with some wonderful essential oils, including some of these. And one of the blends that you can do, you've got um, internally that DDR Prime is a really great one. And it's got some of the different citrus ones in there. Um, aromatically diffuser blends, you've got five drops of lime, three drops of coriander. And then also for diffuser, three drops of lime and three drops of citrus bliss. Topically, you can dilute the oregano and apply to the bottoms of the feet or in a 10 milliliter roll, roller bottle, three drops of each, okay? So three drops of citrus bliss, lime, cy cypress, okay? Citrus bliss, lime, and cypress, and then top it off with fractionated coconut oil. And um, you apply it to areas where circulation needs to be increased. And so right there, I like to apply these right there at that point of the chakra, or you could even go to the back as well. All right, so with the heart chakra, um, with the heart chakra, is able to, this is the ability to kind of give unconditional love. Um, as you might think, compassion, caring, um, accepting, and then also self-love as well, and a feeling of peace. And um, being able to love without expecting anything in return, but just to love because you are meant to love. And um, without, without strings attached. And one of the meditations with that um, pictures a, like a balloon. And that balloon is basically like your heart. And picturing it held down with all of these, these strong cords, like metal cords that are, are holding it down so that it can't float up. And it's the, the different things that we're attached to that we put requirements on ourselves and others and whatnot. And just picturing, and you don't have to name the cords or anything like that, but just picturing cutting through those cords and, and letting that balloon really rise up to where it needs to be. Um, the, with the heart chakra, here's my, my blend here. And I, I know we haven't gone to the one with the, um, it has, it's rose quartz for the heart chakra. And we haven't gone to the oils, but um, my favorite one for this chakra is, um, is Kasha as well. Um, and just to make sure we know the location exactly, it is exactly that low center point of the chest for self-acceptance and love. It also affects though the thymus, the lymph glands, the heart, the rib cage, lung, skin, arms, hands. Okay, so basically everything connecting through there. All right. 
the color associated with it, as you probably see from the PowerPoint presentation, is green. All right. And the element for it is air. Okay. Um, with the different supporting oils, um, elevation, lemon, thyme, geranium, melaleuca, and peppermint are great ones. And this, I love, ugh, it's just, it's so fantastic. When I apply this on, um, I really feel myself open up and it's hard to kind of explain, but, um, being able to let go of some different things and, um, and let myself love and being accepting of, of myself and others. It's, it's fantastic. So you can do for a roll on. You have um, two blends, uh, two drops of thyme and four drops of lemon. And for like a joyful heart diffuser blend, three drops of elevation and five drops of lemon. Um, topically, um, peppermint over your chest and then a thin layer of two drops of elevation over the top as a, like a pick me up type of thing. Okay, throat chakra. Think communication. If you're having a difficult time communicating, and I'm a teacher, so yeah, I, I get that sometimes. Um, your throat chakra is really helpful for that and being balanced there. So, um, and it can be, it can be overly open as well, remember? So if you have a difficulty being silent, which sometimes that mine is a little open, too open, and I have a difficulty kind of just being still, being quiet and listening, talking inappropriately, excessive loudness, talking too much, stuttering, gossiping, fear of, and then I'm um, closed off, fear of speaking, difficulty speaking, speaking weakly, excessive shyness, secretiveness, and tone deafness. Um, but we want it to be balanced. We want to experience things like feeling resonant, full of voice, clear communication, communicating with yourself as well, being a good listener, good sense of timing and rhythm, and living life creatively. And in my meditations that I've done with throat chakras, when you come there, you know, you've already focused on being able to love, right? as you focused on your heart chakra, the, the throat chakra then is um, that connectiveness, that connectiveness to, to everything and honoring that connectiveness that we'd have to everything so that you're able to communicate um, effectively and, and honestly recognizing that we're all connected. And so you want to listen and then be heard. And um, it's really quite wonderful to consider the oneness that we all truly are a part of. And um, the location of it is specifically in the throat. It also, so it helps the thyroid, the parathyroid, esophagus, neck, shoulder, arms, hands. So again, we're working into some of those different areas. Um, the physical element is the ether. And so kind of think of like where radio, radio waves are traveling. They're traveling through the ether, okay? Um, blue or turquoise is the color. And I have lapis lazuli for the throat chakra. And here in the roller and just applying it on there. Okay, some of them for this, basil, black pepper, 
cilantro, ginger, frankincense, that one's coming back again, and, and lavender, all right? And I've also heard spearmint, heard, heard spearmint in some different blends too. Um, so these different ones, so if you're wanting to experience renewing, releasing, um, you know, renewing for basil, releasing black pepper, cilantro, um, ginger is empowerment, okay? Frankincense, encouraging truth. So if you have one of these, um, you know, just applying a little bit onto there before you go into a big meeting, like specifically frankincense is a great one. Applying that on there, being able to communicate better and express truth. Um, six drops of lavender and four drops of eucalyptus is a great one for aromatically. In a roll-on, 20 drops lavender, 20 drops cy cypress, 20 drops frankincense, and then top it off with fractionated coconut oil. Okay, six chakra, the third eye. With this one, um, this is your like intuition. Okay, think intuition here. Um, your insight into things, your memory, your um, creativity on different planes, um, ability to visualize things, dream recall, um, those different aspects. Um, not only, so throat chakra being connected, thinking about being connected with like our physical world around us. Um, third chakra or third eye with the sixth chakra is being connected to like kind of everything in a sense. And our realization that um, the entire universe is, is connected. I was just talking to my chemistry students about how like electrons around a atom, um, they don't really know exactly where they are at any given time in an atom. They just have a really high probability of being different places. Um, and the further away you get, the electron gets from the atom, the um, less probable it is that it's there. But that probability never reaches zero. Never. Okay? So what does that really tell us? Um, that's telling us that in, in quantum physics, in that, at that atomic level, it's telling us that we're all connected. We're all connected. And so if we're able to connect into that connectivity, okay, <laughs> who knows what we could tap into. And many people have experienced really great insight and in things and creativity as they focus on that third eye, right between, um, not right between the eyebrows, right up to between and above, okay? So like, yeah, like where you see um, some different, like, I think it's Hindu with the, I think it's called a bendy or a bindi, sorry, I don't know the word exactly, but the really pretty like jewel or marking there, it's right there at the third eye. So if it's out of balance, you have a difficulty concentrating, excessive fantasizing, um, intrusive memories, hallucinations, nightmares, obsessions, um, or if you just can't see alternatives, excessive skepticism, lack of imagination, difficulty visualizing, insensitivity and denial. Uh, so getting out of those two extremes and being centered and being able to um, connect with different wisdom that, that's there, um, we just can't see it because we ha haven't opened our eye, right? So opening our eye there, um, have sought a light in this roller bottle, okay? Again, all of these guys, all nine of these different crystal rollerball thingies, I got on Amazon for like 20 bucks. So, pretty fantastic. Um, yeah. So this is connected to the endocrine system, neurological system, the small muscle control. Um, its element is light. And the different anatomy here is like the pituitary gland. So that's kind of like um, in that same plane of the, of the head that is right there is the pituitary gland. Left brain hemisphere, left eye, nose, ears, sinuses, 
um, and kind of your conscious mind, because like you think about things with this part of the brain, that front part of the brain. Okay, different oils. Okay, so Melissa, fantastic. Lemon, coming up again. Rosemary, sandalwood, coming up again. Clary sage, juniper berry, um, if you remember juniper berry down from the, with the second chakra as well. So some fabulous oils coming back into play here. And each one, you can see they have different purposes. Again, these essential oils, they're, my favorite adjective is, is ninja. I think these oils are ninja, okay? Might be kind of dorky, but they're so cool. They have all of these different applications and apply it in different ways. And um, just the possibilities are, are endless. I love that juniper berry is for, you know, these two different chakras and things and for so many other actual physical aspects of it too. So the spring rain aromatic blend is two drops of lemon and four drops of lemongrass. Um, topically, let's see here, with the, if you did like bath salts with it, um, using clary sage in your, like in bath salts is a really good one for that. Um, um, and then in like a salt scrub, you have juniper berry, 20 drops juniper berry, 30 drops lemon, and 15 drops rosemary. And do you like sea salt and hoba oil and sesame seed oil? And just kind of make it to your, the texture that you like and then add those oils and mix it in. Okay, let me check here. All right, your crown chakra, the seventh chakra. Um, this is kind of it's, it's sort of a deeper wisdom, all right? Um, it's a spiritual connection, wisdom, mastery, um, your presence, your ability to have an open mind, and also the ability to question. Um, and being able to really look at different information and analyze it and see if it really does. Like sometimes I'll, I might ask somebody, you know, does this resonate with you? And, um, you know, how is this feeling with you? And that ability to take it in and kind of see if it's right for you, um, that's a part of this chakra. And if it's out of balance, you can be dissociated from your body, not really being able to tap into it. Um, spiritual addiction over intellectualization I've never been accused of that. I never overanalyze anything. That's a lie. I've been accused of it a lot. <laughs> so it's something I need to work on. Excessive attachments, confusion. Okay, so, and then deficient, if you have rigid belief systems, spiritual cynicism, learning difficulties, closed-mindedness, and apathy. Um, but instead, we want to have that wisdom and that internal intelligence, being able to connect with our bodies and being able to use the information that comes our way and either, yes, this is right for me, I'm going to apply it properly, or nope, that's not for me, and let it go on its way. The different oils for that, is again, Melissa, Purify. Um, the connection to the divine is frankincense coming back again, sandalwood coming back again. Um, 
And I do want to touch on that this is also associated with the pineal gland, pituitary gland, um, cerebral cortex, okay, cerebellum, and right eye, and right brain hemisphere. So there's the rest of that brain coming in. Okay. This one I've got amethyst. I love amethyst because I love purple. You can see that. Okay. Crown chakra here. And yeah, so great. Wintergreen, zendocrine. Um, a lot of the oils that are in zendocrine was part of the blend that I have in this guy. Um, sandalwoods in there for sure. Melissa, um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Aromatically, two drops of frankincense and two drops of sandalwood if you're wanting to support that crown chakra. Topically, um, you can apply it to the hairline or the top of the head um, or like kind of down the spine. And taking zendocrine internally can help with things too. And yeah, so um, it's interesting like sandalwood, frankincense, and then these were at the root chakra. And if you talk to, um, well, anatomically, and I learned this in school and like from my chiropractor and stuff, the, the spinal column is connected um, within the sheath, like the, the actual spinal cord has a sheath around it and its main connection point is at the top and at the bottom. Okay. So, um, you affect one, you affect the other kind of the top and the bottom. And I think it's interesting that both like frankincense and sandalwood were both at the top and the bottom too. Um, just a note as we end our time here, um, to, to take the time to connect with yourself and connect with your body. Um, it, it's so easy to, to say, oh, you know, I get to the gym. Well, it's not easy to get to the gym sometimes, but oh yeah, I need to make sure and get to the gym and take care of the, my cardiovascular system and my musculoskeletal system and all those things. But we sometimes forget our nervous system and how much of a huge impact it has on our entire body. So taking some time to meditate, there's great meditations out there of all kinds um, to, to help to give that nervous system some focus and a break and some rejuvenation and bringing so much peace to your life. Um, and these oils just have an amazing, shall I say frequency about them to be able to tune into those different aspects of of the chakras and those different things we're wanting to experience that are associated with those different chakras to be able to tap into that and um, applying them allows me to make sure that I'm deliberately taking that time to connect with that place in my body and in my mind and um, and it has it's really quite amazing just how wonderful you can feel with doing these different things. And it's so, so easy, really. It really is. And you can't, you can't do it wrong, right? You really can't, okay? So um, find something, try it, and, and see, see if it resonates with you, right? Um, make sure you're also getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, Okay, taking care of the act, you know, your physical body as well, eating properly and things like that. Um, try a yoga class and, you know, experience something differently and, um, and see, see if you like it. Okay, see if that resonates with you once again. All right, so um, if you have the intention 
of, of engaging at a deeper level with these things, I would love to be on this journey with you in whichever kind of way that you would like to be, um, like need the support, um, whether you're a veteran with essential oils or um, so whether you're a veteran with essential oils or are brand new, hi Annie, mm. right. then um, feel free to um, contact me, give me a call, message me, and, and I can help you out with that. And we are currently needing to print something at the moment. Um, so, um, a membership with, a, with doTERRA to get things at wholesale price is crazy easy. It's just like a Costco membership. It's like $35 and, um, you can buy any essential oils that you want at the same price that I do. And there's, there's of course, since, you know, I do it as a business, there's an option to do it as a business, but it's not a requirement whatsoever. Um, just people find that as they find things that work, they want to share them. And doTERRA wants to reward people for that. But most people that use doTERRA essential oils and have that wholesale membership use these oils specifically for them and solely for them. And it is a wonderful experience. And I love to walk with people in that. Um, I do accept six new clients each month so that I work with personally that are really wanting to engage in this wellness lifestyle. And if so, I do... I do free coaching with them and, and help them use these oils and apply these oils. And if you're interested in that, I do have spots available still. So please reach out. I would love to walk with you in this. Um, so yeah. And if you have any other questions, feel free to email me, message me, whatnot, and I would love to help you out. And are there, are there any questions at this time? chat nothing in the chat looks good all right so with that i will say have a great rest of your evening i hope you find wonderful peace today and many days to come and just keep using those oils and and find new ways to experience um experience balance all right I wish you all the best and have a great rest of your night.